Radford is an unusual place because it, it really is that small town America, but at the same time it's an unusual community being a, a college-oriented community, having a university for a hundred years. So it is really is a small town and it has a good mix of people from all sorts of backgrounds, college people and factory people, a wonderful mix, I think, of just good people. Thanks. You can literally go across town and you feel like you're in rural America. You're in Wildwood Park or you're in Bissett Park and, and it feels as small and homey as, as any place that you'd want to go and then you come down to the university and you're in a metropolitan environment in some ways. You've got a lot of people from a lot of different places, a lot of different ideas, different programs that come to the community and really make it a great place to live. We were founded in 1910, our classes started in 1913, and over that century, Radford evolved and grew from a state teacher's college to more of a general college, then eventually to a modern university in 1979, and that's where we are today with nearly 10,000 students. One of the interesting things that uh, was started back in 1997 is our Radford Highlanders Festival. And the idea was that as a university we have the Highlander name. Okay, you're halfway Spider-Man now. The Highlands of Virginia is this area. A lot of people from Scotland and Ireland of Celtic culture settled in this region. And so we were able to create this festival to celebrate who we are as Highlanders, both traditionally, the historic Highlanders, but who we are as Highlanders today. One of the neat parts about the Highlanders Festival are the gathering of the Highland Bands. And that's really a tradition that ties back into Radford's history. That's where it came from. When we first moved here, Radford was very underdeveloped. It had a main street that had lots of vacancies and lots of buildings that were not in great shape. Historical buildings that once were beautiful and it seemed like there was a, a tremendous opportunity there. We started our first project in 2000 and we did a very nice certified historical renovation that everybody loved and we actually got the first coffee shop on Main Street going and there was no place to sit and have a cup of coffee. Everybody loved it. It worked really well and so we just kept doing it. The respect for old buildings, you know, I mean, just look at this building and creating this courtyard because it's here. Instead of tearing the whole thing down and building something, creating a space for some to come have lunch, you know, um, enjoy a quiet moment with, with a friend next to all this great old advertising. It's wonderful. I love a city that considers that a priority. Bluegrass and old time music is very important to this part of the state. There are probably, I, I would imagine, in the Montgomery, Pulaski County, City of Radford area, there are more musicians than you can shake a stick at that can really play. This kind of music, everybody knows all the songs. So instead of somebody saying, do you know how to play this? It'll be, well, let's just play this, and everybody knows. And you just start playing, and you can tell that they're like, I've never seen anything like this before. There is a very large, strong core group of people that live here. Some have never been anywhere else, lived anywhere else. And then you got the university students who come and go, I'm not a native to Radford, but I sure feel like one. It's a small town. It's got good schools. It's got between Radford and Virginia Tech, there are evening programs, music, poetry, films, interesting people to talk to. Then I've got my hiking trails, instant outdoor fun. Like this park has lots of species of wildflowers, so I can follow them through the year. 
one of the things I'm glad to see growing in the, this area is a farmer's market. <laughs> Art is not just a painting of a tree and a landscape and a photo is not just a black and white barn. I want people to see that you can make so many things with your hands and that your mind can come up with all these creative new ways to use everyday items. I mean, we have mugs and a sponge holder and plates and pillows and clothes, and it's all handmade. We want people to take home something special with them, so that way every time they look at it, they'd smile a little bit. We have about 75 artists, and you'd be surprised how many people come in and be like, this is made by Frank Clark. I know him, he's my neighbor. I had no idea he was a pho photographer. Uh, you know, the people in here are, are your neighbors. So you can take a nice morning walk along the river, ride your bicycle, you can go hiking through our 57-acre city forest. You can stop down at the River City Grill, which is a local restaurant, and get yourself a nice breakfast and a cup of coffee. You're almost always gonna run into somebody you know. And that's really fun to be able to walk you know, down the street and just run into friends and family members. And you've got the modern conveniences of a larger city because of the things that the university and the city work together to offer. And it really does provide the best of all possible worlds. I just think there's something that the history that these buildings provide, you know, you can't substitute for it. It's not available if you tear it down. Uh, it's gone. And so, you know, we get to preserve the fabric, um, which respects the people who have come before us and everything that's happened in town but then fix it up in a way that it becomes accessible for the new generations and their energy and creativity. It's just the right size community that you can get involved and make a difference. In my heart, I don't know what gets any bigger and better than seeing the people that you know, that you love, and do things with them. You may meet people here tonight that you've never met before, but they'll know you and you'll know them before you leave. That's just the kind of people that are in this town. I have everything that uh, means something to me and my life seems to be here.